So uh, the market is going back up um, to uh, about 4,000 US dollars. The bottom was, uh, say it was 3,700 US dollars. Um, and um, yeah, I think that um, given that 4,200 broke, uh, I think, uh, yeah, Kevin Svensson is uh, logic is uh, very good at the next uh, level of support is uh, 2,500. But at the same time, we know that uh, it's likely that the bear market will continue till the middle of 2019. And so that means that um, <clears throat> it's also likely that uh, the lows will be seen then for most coins, except Ripple. Uh, if you look at previous bear markets, um, and that many coins will actually find low only after uh, 20, uh, the middle of 2019. But so, since the low will be around 2,500 probably, uh, maybe 2,000, maybe 1,800, but that seems to be like, yeah, a good estimate. <clears throat> um, that means that we will probably bounce from here for a while uh, and it will take another half year uh, before we find that low and so my strategy to uh, I still have 30% fiat uh, yeah I'm gonna put it into uh, buy orders and try to catch that bottom uh, that will probably be seen in half a year's time um, and, and so that will be all Bitcoin cash then uh, again and so that means that uh, yeah I'm not investing in any other coins but I think it's a great strategy to first invest in the Bitcoins like Ethereum uh, and Bitcoin and um, uh, well, I never mentioned Ripple because I'm really not interested in that project. Uh, but uh, yeah, Ripple might have bottomed already because that's what's also happened in a previous bear market. It has a different uh, kind of market. Um, uh, that's just another confirmation that it's just not really a crypto project. Huh? Uh, the, the capital inflow into Ripple is very different from the capital inflow from crypto. Uh, and that's why it doesn't really follow the same patterns. Uh, allez, not as much at all. Aye, the least of all. Um, so, uh, but but I think investing in Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, the big coins, is a good strategy to do first uh, and try to catch that bottom. Or if you're a technical trader, try to buy these uh, when there is confirmation that the bull market has started, and then uh, keep that for a year or possibly two years, and only then diversify them into smaller coins. It's a good strategy. Um, so yeah. Uh, what else can I say? Mm, uh, I think I think the mistake I made with the Trollolo chart is that um, it's true that in previous bear markets, the moment it went into undervaluation uh, and serious undervaluation was uh, usually the same time. I was usually was also the fiat bottom, but what's different here is that uh, while we are always going more and more horizontal in uh, in uh, in the in the growth uh, curve uh, and in the percentage increases of crypto in general, and so um, if it's always going more and more horizontal, the logarithmic logarithmic regression uh, chart from Trollolo and uh, Owen Wonder. Uh, well. Well, that means that, well, that means that we're gonna go quicker into undervaluation and we're gonna be longer into undervaluation and we're gonna go deeper into undervaluation. And so that's something I had forgotten and that uh, actually um, uh, makes it indeed also confirms that uh, actually, yes, it is actually quite likely that we do get a lower bottom, but it will take a while to get there um, and then maybe I can say something more about uh, going all in um, yeah I think um, I think you should really uh, for me I take a great example to Roger Ver I think it's just amazing the way he invests. Like today, for example, check out his videos on Bitcoin.com. Is he talking about the price? No. He's talking about people that are, uh, and shops and merchants that are ex uh, accepting Bitcoin today, new shops. He's talking about new applications that are using Bitcoin Cash today and are building on top of it. That's what he's doing every day. Huh? And that's how you build a coin. That's how you build it out. Yeah, he's very right about that. Huh? 
Um, and, uh, and so, um, how can you do that? Well, only when you're 100% invested, right? I mean, if you're busy with trying to sell high and buy low, you can't do that. I know, because you're busy with the prices, like I am and all of you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be following my channel, right? So, we are all very busy with the prices, and that's good to do when you want to buy a position. But, do you want to keep on doing that for years and years and years? Well, I decided, no, I don't want to do this any longer. And so, how do you solve that? Well, you go all in. And when do you do that? Well, the, there's only one perfect time, and that's at the bottom of the bear market. Of course, it's very hard to get right. So, you scale that in, close to the bottom, maybe on the bottom a little and after the bottom, but that, those are the times that you can go all in and yeah, sure, many people will say that's crazy, that's irresponsible and all that, but that's also when you start a company, uh, you will always have people that say that, well, you're uh, taking on too much risk, but actually it's no one else to judge, it's your, like you can judge for yourself how much risk you want to take and what kind of life you want to live. So, I uh, forgot to say something about um, <coughs> backup plan. So I will put my orders, um, half the price, around 100 US dollars for Bitcoin Cash, and I hope it gets filled in uh, by the middle of 2019 when Bitcoin bottoms at 2,500, so around that. Uh, but if that does not happen, which of course is possible, uh, my backup plan is, um, well, to use that fiat to buy, one or two years later, uh, when in one or two years, when likely, if we saw the bottom already, uh, that well, Bitcoin has gone up, the bigger coins have gone up, but probably the smaller coins have not gone up and have continued to go sideways in fiat value and down in Bitcoin value or Ethereum value. Uh, at that point, um, uh, I think it's a very good time to uh, buy uh, the remaining fiat that did not get filled uh, and, and market by. Um, alts, smaller alts. I think that's a great uh, backup plan that has always worked for me uh, in every bull market. Um, uh, because in every bull market there's always, yeah, it has been the case up until today that the big coins go up first and the small coins are still going sideways for one year and I think it could be even two years now. Huh? So, so that's that's the backup plan. I think that's a great, uh, great strategy. Uh, People that have been watching my videos may remember this spot here in Nairobi where I was filming over one year and a half, about one year and a half ago in August, 1st of August 2017, that Bitcoin Cash just launched and that I am buying. Bitcoin Cash was then about 0.1 BTC, now it's half of that, 0.5 BTC or 0.4 BTC. So it went down by 50% in Bitcoin value and by um, and by fiat value also it went down because it was about 300 US dollars and uh, one tenth of a Bitcoin. And today one tenth of a Bitcoin, uh, sorry, one twentieth of a Bitcoin is worth about 200 US dollars. So in that whole year, even though we had a huge bubble, Bitcoin cash did not go up, um, but it did go up uh, very well in amount of transactions, amount of merchants that using, amount of applications that use it. Um, and, and for those that have invested already in Bitcoin Cash, they now have also uh, forked of coin Bitcoin SV or BSV. And uh, I, I still am convinced that this is a great sell, uh, especially now that it rebounded to about half the value of Bitcoin Cash. I think uh, it's a great sell to convert, uh, to sell off, convert in Bitcoin Cash. Um, why? Well, <laughs> some people have tried to convince me otherwise and, and, and it's so technical. I just can't keep my attention to it, um, so I will just give you my reasoning why I think that's a great move. Um, I think it's a great move because um, Bitcoin as VBSV does not have the anarcho-capitalistic ideals. Um, uh, that's what really attracts me to Bitcoin Cash. And, uh, um, it's a coin that does not support states and state violence, and and, and, that's, and that sees all the uh, uh, um, yeah all, all the. Well, that, that, that sees uh, things for what they are, which is that the state often um, is a criminal uh, in, uh, in what it does, huh? in uh, stealing people's money under the theft of uh, violence, under the threat of violence, imprisoning people for absolutely ridiculous uh, things uh, and uh, destroying their lives. 
um, uh, just screwing the economy. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's it's very very um, well. It's 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 our biggest problem in society. And um, the thing is that cryptocurrency is competing directly with the state eh, because the state has a monopoly on currencies, and so <clears throat> this will not go down without a fight. Um, governments uh, or some of their agencies will try to destroy cryptocurrency um, uh, or, 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 and, and by in all kinds of ways. And so this is going on today in the cryptocurrency world already. Huh? Um, if you see the kind of hatred uh, and, uh, and, um, and trolling that goes on, for example, versus Roger Ver, uh, it's, it's, it, it's highly suspect of being a, a lot of government agents working from an office doing this. Eh? Because if you see the amount of downvotes, the, down the amount of new, new, new accounts with no history whatsoever starting to uh, um, uh, badmouth uh, him uh, everywhere, uh, uh, on every YouTube video, uh, on every appearance, uh, you see all these uh, uh, pop up. So, so <clears throat> this is just quite likely going on and even in the big um, conflicts that have happened in the past with uh, Bitcoin Core doing very strange things like not raising the block size and thereby allowing transaction fees to explode. This is absolutely mismanagement. Uh, even if you want to build a second layer and you think scaling has to be done that way, sure, but you're not going to raise prices. Like not, there would not be a single business that does that. They would go broke immediately. Eh? Let's say IKEA is, is very successful, or Aldi, eh? or some supermarket chain, or they are very successful, and oh, uh, it's too busy. And they say, okay, we're going to expand, build a second uh, uh, shop. Um, are they going to increase the prices in the meantime because it's too busy? No, of course not, because they would lose all their, their clientele. Eh? So, so this is a ridiculous strategy that you don't do in business. And, 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 and the fact that it's happening in Bitcoin Cash is, is like, what's going on here? Um, and, and I do think it is quite possible that, uh, that, pe that people, that, that just Bitcoin Core, uh, the dev team got basically hijacked uh, by some people that um, are working more for uh, other entities, uh, maybe, yeah, um, than for um, than for than for Bitcoin itself. Even if it's not government agencies, then it's at least other uh, private enterprise, like in the case of Block Bitcoin Core. Uh, Blockstream is a private enterprise, but that tries to make money from from running Bitcoin Core and and that has actually other interests, building a second layer and be, being able to charge transaction fees there is a very business, different business model and actually it makes a lot of sense if you want to build that out to let transaction fees from the core layer, uh, from the basic layer from uh, explode. But of course even that's a stupid business management, they shouldn't have done that. But, but so, uh, and I think what's going on here with uh, BCH versus BSV, uh, it's, it's a hash war. Well, um, <coughs> The things that um, Craig Wright was saying, like uh, threatening with lawsuits, uh, threatening people that they would go to prison, uh, li li like Jian Wu and uh, Roger Ver, uh, threatening the, uh, that he would make them broke um, uh, that, uh, and bankrupt. Um, 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 yeah, uh, the, the, this is very, uh, yeah, indeed. Well, it's called a hostile takeover. <laughs> It happens in the corporate world also, uh, uh, with trying not a 51% attack, but trying to acquire 51% of the shares uh, and, and being hostile uh, <coughs> and, and, and using the threat of lawsuits and all that uh, to try to take over a power in an entity. Um, uh, it, it can be, uh, uh, of course, um, I mean, so sometimes it can be uh, economically. Uh, Justified, but um, uh, in this case, I don't think at all. Um, and um, I, I think uh, uh, that 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 this 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 hash war is indeed uh, lost uh, by B by BSV. Uh, it is just lost. Uh, I mean, the, that's the fact. Like they have a different chain, they have a different coin. Uh, they were never able to have more hash uh, uh, hash. Um, uh, power than the other chain. Uh, they just flat, flatly lost 
and, uh, and, and, and the ticket is being given to, uh, to the ABC uh, client, uh, not to the SV client. Uh, so, uh, but the price is still half right now, thanks to the rebound of SV. Uh, the price is half of what the, uh, uh, Bitcoin Cash is worth, and so I think it's a great sell still. Um, because um, Bitcoin Cash is the only coin that really has this anarcho capitalistic voluntaristic ideology going on and I think it's absolutely uh, required uh, to make a coin a success. You need this kind of... Uh, it, that's not absolutely required, no, uh, but, uh, but uh, you can have other coins too, but uh, with other uh, strategies, but um, uh, it is one strategy that has proved to be successful with Bitcoin the first five, six, seven years when it was still led by uh, th these kind of people and this kind of ideology. It did very well. It was really growing in adoption, growing in, uh, in usage, uh, and, and it was managed well. And, uh, and this has just continued with Bitcoin Cash, and so this is a much more sure thing uh, to succeed than uh, other strategies that have not proven themselves per se. Um, so, um, and I want to say something else is about proof of work. Um, I think that, 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 that this hash war for me has shown something very different than to most people I think. Like, I, 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 I actually, initially I thought like, oh my god, this is uh, bad. Um, like if this happens and, and this other uh, team succeeds in taking over uh, this coin thanks to having more uh, mining power uh, and mining rigs and hashing uh, power, then um, uh, that and that can indeed be done, done quite cheaply, uh, then uh, well, that just shows that proof of work is a poor security system. But uh, what we saw happening was that actually the, the people that are heavily invested in this coin, such as Jian Hu and, and, and Roger Ver, uh, uh, actually are financially motivated to sell coins uh, in exchange for um, and to make losses uh, uh, in exchange for uh, mining power and boost uh, mining power a lot so that this cannot happen um, and are willing to take that loss. It makes financial sense, of course. Uh, in the case of Jian Hu, we have more, 1 million uh, Bitcoin cash, it's about 5 or 6, 7 percent of the supply. Uh, yeah, it makes uh, sense to, uh, to uh, lose some money on that. Uh, keep to your stash and, and invest, uh, I don't know how much it was, but um, 50 or 100 million uh, to protect the stash that's worth now 6, 700 maybe. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, I think that, uh, and also the publicity this has created is unbelievable. Eh? So Bitcoin Cash was at the center of attention uh, in the cryptocurrency world uh, and in the media, eh? in the global media that talks about cryptocurrency, um, um, anything, anybody, any person that was reading about crypto is reading about Bitcoin Cash in a hash war. So this gives enormous publicity and yeah, war is popular. It's like sports, eh? people love to see who's gonna win. Um, and, um, and people take sides and yeah, so I, I think that um, this was actually very beneficial um, uh, for Bitcoin Cash that this happened. Uh, even though uh, a, a big piece of the community split off, I don't know, maybe 20% or so. But I think actually that's also very good because yeah, I think their ideology is really not something I, I, I it's, it's, it's maximalism combined with statism, like it's the worst thing ever for me. Eh? Uh, so I really, I can't relate with it at all. Eh? Uh, so, uh, 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 so I'm happy it's happened uh, uh, and it also dumped the price of Bitcoin Cash more. Actually, I don't think it dumped it more than what happened without the war. I think this is a mis misconception. I also don't think that, that Bitcoin Cash uh, uh, dumped uh, the whole crypto market. So no, of course not. Eh? Uh, so so, so um, I don't think that's the case at all. From the start of this bear market, I was, I was expecting Bitcoin Cash to go down with 95%, and that happened. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, Ethereum went down already with 90 or 91%. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, and Bitcoin, yeah, so I think it's all in line uh, with the typical bear market here. And, um, but, but of course it could be that when we hit the bottom of Bitcoin in the middle of 2019, that, um, that maybe Bitcoin Cash doesn't find a new bottom, that's all possible. And maybe Ethereum also not, uh, that's possible, but it's not likely, eh? it's not likely. 
uh, it's much more likely Ethereum and Bitcoin Cash will also find a new bottom there. However, Ripple, that's not likely, uh, as for the reasons mentioned before. So, um, voila, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.